Hey guys, Joe here for Honor to Be. Hey, uh, Gifts and I, we, we just got back a little while ago from the uh, Chutu Chuck weekend market. So now, uh, Gift asked me, she said, since I lived in Italy, if I knew how to cook Italian food. Actually, I knew how to cook Italian food before I went to Italy because my mother used to cook it. Yeah, Gift asked me, and I said, okay, I will make you some Italian food, but at the same time, I will teach you to make Italian food, and she's agreed. At my feet, keep me grounded as I reach higher than I see. Is there something there for me? Are you ready to make some Italian food? You ready? Yes. So, uh, what's the first thing we do before we cook? What's Crosshead. Wow, you're a small lady. And what's the second thing we're going to do before we cook Italian food? Do you know? I don't know. Open a bottle of red wine. Okay. <laughs> but since, uh, since you don't drink, I'll drink for you, okay? But you can try okay. Nidnoi. Okay. You try Nidnoi? I will try. Okay. We're going to start this um, spaghetti sauce. Actually, I'm going to have to improvise because um, they don't have all the ingredients here. Yeah, so I hope you guys uh, enjoy watching Gift learn how to make some Western food. So we're going to get started. So I got the, uh, get the ingredients here. We'll get, the, we'll get that prepped. This is kind of a cheetah thing. Normally I don't use this, but since you guys don't have all the ingredients, I will use the tomato paste I found. Some tomato sauce. I have some salt. Italian seasoning. That is. Oh, no, yeah, salt is so free. So Gift is going to cut the um, garlic and the onions and the uh, mushrooms. And uh, yeah, once we get all of that cut, then we'll show you guys how we mix this together. Okay, we just prepped the food and uh, now we're going to start the meatballs. Cut up the garlic and the onion. The mushrooms will go in a sauce that won't go in the meatballs, but the garlic and the onion will. Took the corners off this piece of bread. It's going to be soaked. Put it, yeah, in the milk. So just put it in there, turn it over. And that's uh, because we don't have breadcrumbs. Okay, you can leave it in there right now. take the bread, you take it and you squeeze it like that, okay? So you take the bread and you squeeze it out, you squeeze the milk out of it, there you go, just like that. Yep, just like that, there you go. Okay, now put that in there. Okay, so we're gonna take the, um, yeah, all of it. So we have a pound of uh, ground beef. Of course, we're not gonna eat all of that. So we're using a bigger bowl, this one was too small actually. And now I'm just gonna mix it, mix it up good. Make sure that bread gets mixed up in there real good. Now we're going to put an egg in here. One egg. Mix that up. Wow. These are going to be some delicious meatballs. Uh, uh, some uh, burger? Yeah, actually you could make hamburgers like this too if you wanted to. Okay, so I have some Italian seasoning. You want to put in here? Fall up. Gives it a little bit more of that uh, Italian flavor. So I put that in there. Spicy? No spicy. I know you can't eat spicy food. Yeah. Gift doesn't eat spicy food, doesn't drink, doesn't smoke. Then I'm gonna put just a little bit of salt. You don't want to put a whole lot of salt because um, you don't want it to be too salty. You could always add salt. Okay, it's perfect pinch color. Put some of that on there. And we're just gonna mix this in here real good. Put a little olive oil in the pan, okay? Just a little bit. You don't need a lot because the hamburger already, the meat already has some fat to it. We're not going to cook the meatballs all the way through because when we cook it in a sauce, mm -hmm. for a few hours it simmers, it's going to cook in a sauce too. So we're just going to like pre-fry it. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Big spoon like this, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what you do is you just take one spoonful, about like that, okay? Like that. Uh -huh. And then you take it oh. and you roll it. Say Thai pan. Pan. Yeah. Okay, so that's a meatball. Yeah. Okay. 
and you do the same thing and you try to make them all about the same size uh -huh. so they cook evenly. Wow. Like that. Look good. Okay. Now I'm going to take the camera and let you try it, but give me a second. Okay. Okay. I try. So it's your turn. Okay, I try. Let me get over here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, like I said, when you're cooking Italian food, you definitely have to have some wine. This is an Australian wine from Australia. Try a little. Okay. Just, just to try. I know you don't drink. Just try it. Tell me what you think about it. Mmm. It smells good, huh? Yeah, for you, it smells good. Good? Good? <laughs> you have to acquire a taste for wine. So Gift is now making her first meatball. There you go. That's how you make it. Okay. Okay. Good job. Okay, we have our meatballs. We have them all ready to go. Just put them in here. Just like that. Okay. Just like that. Like halfway, halfway, uh -huh. and then um, they're gonna cook in a sauce because the sauce ah. is gonna cook. When I do the sauce, it's gonna cook for two hours, okay? okay. So two or three hours. So it cooks slowly, and the meatballs will cook and put all of that that flavor will just uh, be very good. Only they use uh, fresh ingredients, but wow. I couldn't find all the ingredients. They don't have all the ingredients. That's why we're improvising. Pour about one quarter, just like that. Shake it up like that. Clean out your jar. Pour it in there. This is tomato what? paste. That's very thick. Ah, uh, salt must be thick. Okay. Yeah. And um, pour that. Okay, so we got these. Uh, turn a little. Put back on here. Now, take some of this Italian seasoning again. When you are Italy, you cook all the time? Um, I used to cook. I lived alone, so I didn't really cook that much. I love cooking, mm. but I didn't cook that much because uh, for myself, it was no sense in it. Ah. Put some pepper, a little bit of pepper, some salt, and some garlic, or garlic sauce. So you just mix it all in there. And then you take your mushroom. Normally I make spaghetti with the meatballs, but tonight we're gonna have the penny pasta. So we'll get it. What you said? So we'll get it. Ah. Yeah. Oh. So like chungeo. German? Um, German roast. Roast. You say roast. Oh. It has very many. Oh health benefits for cancer and stuff like yep, that. Yep, yep. Chon Gale. Chon Gale. Yeah. I hope you enjoy the food. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so our meatballs are done now. All we're going to do is take the meatballs and put them inside the sauce. Okay, so you just put them inside the sauce. They're just about right, about halfway mm -hmm. cooked. And then they'll simmer in, in the sauce for two hours. Yeah. I know that's a lot of meatballs, but you could get the bread. Make meatball sandwiches, so um, I could freeze them to make spaghetti another time, you know? Yeah. Wow. So we got the meatballs in a sauce. That'll maybe two hours, like I said. Wow. And, uh, so we're gonna cover it up, cook it on cook it slow for like I said two hours, and then I'll show you how to make the penny pasta. Okay. Okay, so sauce has been cooking for a few hours now. So now we're going to start the penne pasta. We're gonna use bottled water. I use bottled water for everything. Yeah, there you go. You could just put the lid on this. So the water boils faster. Okay, so now the water is boiling. Gift has the penne pasta. No, they, oops, it's okay, it's okay. No problem. Okay, 
Okay, so then the pasta is done. And then uh, when you drain it, keep one scoop of water in there. Mix in some of the sauce. Not a whole lot, just, just a little bit. Okay. There you go. Okay, guys, so dinner is, is uh, ready. Gift made it, or helped make it. <laughs> and um, so this is uh, some fresh Parmesan cheese gift. You can put Parmesan cheese on it if you want. Uh, yeah, it, yeah, it goes on. It's a cheese that goes on the top. You just spread it, sprinkle it, yeah. here thank you for um, coming along watching gift make her first Italian dinner but uh, we appreciate it and if you like this vlog please don't forget to like share and subscribe and until next time stay safe stay happy and stay tuned bye love you all